Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. You know, I have a confession to make. I am a recovering perfectionist. You may say, well, what's the big deal with that? Well, I'm going to tell you, it can be very, very difficult, and it can cause a lot of problems. And I'm going to share with you what some of those are, and I'm going to also give you some tips. I bet many of you are also perfectionist. And on the face, that doesn't seem like a problem, but it really is. And I'm going to share some tips with you that are going to help you. And whether you live in sticks and bricks or whether you live in a van or a vehicle or on the road, I think this is really going to be beneficial to many of you. So come on, let's chat about it and see what can be done to help those of you who are perfectionists or recovering perfectionists like I am. I want to share with you the one thing that has really helped me. I would go so far as to say save me from being such a die-hard perfectionist. But before I get to that, I want to go over some of the things or the reasons that being a perfectionist is so damaging. Let me explain what I mean by that. As a perfectionist, you set goals often that are truly unrealistic. And then when you fail to meet them, you feel defeated. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're a YouTuber. You're just starting out and you set a goal for yourself that you're going to be at 10,000 by the end of your first month. That's not a realistic goal, but it's striving for perfection and you do everything you can to reach that goal. You make great videos, you post consistently, you do everything that you've read you're supposed to do, but you don't meet your goal of 10,000. What happens is if you really are a perfectionist, you will internalize that and you will feel defeated. As a result, if this happens over and over, there's an inclination to decide, you know what? I'm no good at this. I can't do YouTube. It doesn't work for me. And you give up. You have self-sabotaged yourself by setting unrealistic goals. Then when you don't meet them, you believe that it's your fault and you give up. So what happens often is with perfectionists, they will then sabotage in advance. They'll look at something and say, you know what? This is not something I can do. I don't think I could be that great at it. And if they don't think they can be really good at a task and really perform at the highest level, because remember, they're perfectionists. They have to be performing at a high level. They won't even try. So things that they really could succeed at, they completely give up in advance. That's just one of the downsides of being a perfectionist. Let me share another one. Perfectionists tend to be very, very critical of themselves. They evaluate every single thing. Like, for instance, when I do a video, I'll look and I'll say, oh, I have too many ahs, or oh, you know, there was too many pauses. I mean, we look at the smallest, tiniest things and we're very critical. Now, we tend to be critical of others, too, in that we want them to meet our standards, but we're not quite as critical of others as we are of ourselves. Now, you know what? God has a really, <laughs> he really has a, a sense of humor because he gave me a child who is autistic. <laughs> and she really has a whole different way of looking and thinking about things. So I have had to adapt and change, and that's one of the best things that has happened to me. It's challenging, and I mean it is challenging, but it has made me have to reevaluate how I look at things and not be such a perfectionist. But again, that is one of the things, being overly critical of yourself, that is, I believe, common with perfectionists. The last thing... I think is really the most significant and I think it is really the thing 
that lessens your quality of life and really truly can make you unhappy. And I'm going to share with you what that is. The worst thing about perfectionists. As a perfectionist, you often, as I said earlier, set unrealistic standards. And even though you don't meet them though, you still may achieve a really high level of performance. But as a perfectionist, you're not able to enjoy that high level of performance, which by many standards may be fabulous. But because you didn't meet your goal, you don't enjoy the success that you did have. That I think is the biggest downfall of being a perfectionist. You don't ever really get to enjoy or celebrate the accomplishments that you make because they never quite meet up to the ones that you set. And I would say that you rob yourself of the joy of being able to acknowledge your own successes. But there is good news. I have found the remedy for those of us who are perfectionists and a way to combat that. As I said earlier, I'm the parent of an autistic child and there are a lot of challenges and progress in certain areas can be really, really slow. But one thing that it taught me was instead of seeking perfection, just look for progress. And that is, I found the solution to also being a perfectionist. I work really hard now, instead of setting a goal and trying to be perfect, I set a goal and just try to be better than I was the day before, or better than I was on the last project, or better than I was in the last interview or the last video. And as long as I'm going in the right direction, as long as I'm making progress, I'm working on letting go of the need to be perfect, but just to be better. And I think if you can, again, replace perfection or perfect with progress, that that's a first step on the road to recovery from being a perfectionist. I hope this video helps someone who may be struggling with this. And if it did, would you make a note in the comments and let me know? And if you'd like more of these, I want to do maybe a segment that I'll start on Wednesdays and it'll be Wednesday words, where maybe I will share things, some of the things I'm struggling with, some of the things I encounter other people that they are struggling with, and maybe share them on Wednesday or other just general topics. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in having me do. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching and may your journeys be filled with joy and blessings. I'm here at Discount Tires getting my tires replaced. So I will check with you guys later. By the way, Saturday, Pascal is going to have a video that he's going to release that's going to show some of what we did last week on working. Well, actually, I say we, but it was mostly him, but on working on Teresa's van. And it's going to be really exciting and interesting. And then I'm going to do a follow-up with some of the additional things that I'm bringing in and adding to our van. So check Tiny Campers um, on Saturday. It will be the 10th, no, the 11th, Saturday the 11th. That video will air on Pascal's channel, Tiny Campers. Meanwhile, see you down the road.